Hey, this is Gary Davis, and this is just a quick tip and trick on actually a little Band-Aid of a boo-boo that went out with Autodesk 3ds Max 2013. And I'm first going to show you the problem and then the solution. Um, the problem is with state sets and submitting a job to network rendering. If I bring up the render dialog, you'll know that from uh, previous releases of 3ds Max, there was a little checkbox down here that said submit to network rendering. Well, the way that state sets work is that they record when, when this... Uh, flag is enabled or this record is enabled, your recording changes to the base state. So say for example, I came over under render elements and under this state, it, I did not want to have render elements. So I could turn that off and that's a checkbox. If I go out of my base state and go out of the actual state itself and check render elements, you can see that my base state has render elements active. But if I enable that base sta uh, the uh, state called state 01 and check my render elements, then they're turned off. So the point being is that these states record a lot of different things and namely under the render dialog it's recording these checkboxes. Well, if I go back out to our base state and look at our network rendering, there no longer is that checkbox. So I can't record the attribute of turning on or off network rendering and the, ren the network rendering, the ability to do that in 2013 has just been moved under here. So there's a production render mode, but if I go to submit network rendering, you'll notice this isn't just a checkbox, but it actually evokes the network render dialog like you can see here. So that wasn't just an on off switch, it actually submitted the job. So I don't want to do that and there's no way uh, natively to actually record that. So that's kind of the problem and now I'm going to show you a way to get around that problem using a couple lines of Max script. So if you go into the Max, uh, sorry, the help menu here and bring up the Max script help, I've already brought that up right over here in a browser and I just did a search for render and this very top uh, option that comes up here is renderers. And there's this quick link right here for lighting and rendering quick navigation. And I'm going to go to the render scene dialog. Now this actually shows you the old renderer. And this is the yeah, net render flag is what we're after right there. If we just scroll down here, we're going to get to that uh, render scene dialog. What we're looking for is right here. So here's our net render. And there's, an, there's one uh, option right here for rend use net and it's a boolean which means it's just true or false. So this is the uh, command line rend rend use net or render use network equals true or false. So that's what we're going to be doing and we can do that in a couple of different ways. I'm not a big max script guru or anything like that, but it's just a very quick fix. What I could do is say under customize user interface, let's just make a shelf for this. And I'm going to say uh, toolbar and let's make a new shelf and this is just going to be called um, temp. I'll just call this whatever you want, but I typically make this be my name or something like that. So here we have a little floating dialog right here that we can put any number of commands into. So we've got this temp dialog right here and I'm for uh, space sake, I'm just going to dock that right over here. Oh, let's see if I can put it right up there. Well, that's going to be fine for, for the sake of this demonstration. It's going to be right up there. So now what I can do is let's move this out of the way and I'm going to go under my max script and open up a max script listener. And you can see I already did this ahead of time here, but what I, what I can do is just, um, let me just blank this out and type in this command rend use net equals true. And I'll just say rend use net equals true. And I'll, actually evaluate that. So now network rendering is enabled in this. And what I could do is actually just take that command line, just that single line, and just drag and drop it up here and create a, what's called a macro script. And if I right click on that and say edit macro script, you can see here that it did this um, macro script category drag and drop tool tip. There isn't any, but I could maybe just turn this on and say um, network rendering equals on and it's the rend use net equals true and that's about it. So I can just close that down and then if I want to, I can right click and say edit the button appearance and maybe I'll just use a text button here and I'll say net on. Very simple. So I have a net on button and then I could just say uh, net use rend equals off. I don't really have even have to execute that but if I want to, I can do that. And now I can just take that line, make another button and I'm gonna rename this one uh, net off. Net off tooltip is network rendering 
off. You don't need a tool tip, but I'm just putting one in there. And that's about it. So now what I can do is actually use um, the, these two buttons, network rendering on or network rendering off, and I can use that to enable network rendering globally for my base state. And then all the state sets will use either attribute whether they're on or off according to the base state. So that's a quick tip and trick around using state sets with network rendering. Thanks.